Hey boys and girls, go ahead and get out your pink sew paper. Let's do this together. Now I'm gonna write my name up above. Remember your name, your first letter is always an uppercase letter. The rest of the letters should all be about the same size and they should sit up on the line unless you have a letter uh, with a Y in it or a name with a Y in it like Tyler or Brooklyn. They have those Ys um, or G's that come down like Logan, okay? So otherwise, if you don't have a, a tail, then it sits on top, okay? All right. So let's go, we're gonna go box, 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 box. All right, so we're gonna start up here and it says, trace the sight word. So again, boys and girls, if I go too fast for you, I just want you to pause the video, okay? But take your time. You don't, excuse me, you don't need to keep in, up with me, okay? You work at your own pace, so slow it down if you need to. And trace the letters. The first letter is S. The last letter is O. O. Now, is that, is O a long sound or a short sound? Remember when we say O, we can say ah, 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 or O. It's the O is the long sound. Okay, right next to it, we have to write it on our own. So let's write it two times. And each one of these letters should start up at the belt line and come down to the toe line. These are not capital letters. And actually, if you have enough room, you can write it more than two times. So that S and that O should sit at the bottom of those lines. We don't want big S's and we don't want big O's. They should be the same size, right next to each other. Put your finger spaces in between your words and write it as many times as you can. And really slow down and try to control the size of your letters, the size and the shape, not in a rush, okay? Then we're gonna come back here and it says, find and underline the sight word. So we're just looking for the word so. Just the word so. And we're going to put an underline under that. Okay. So I found it one, two, three times. Good. So, so, so. Now it says, color the sight word. What sight word is it that we're going to color? So, so. And where are my crayons? Well, I can't find my crayons, so I'll use my blue pen. So, so. Just a little word, but it's a word that we use a lot. So you know, we use it a lot. Can you use the word so in a sentence while we're coloring? So today, we might go for a walk. So what might you do today? Okay, I'm only gonna color one time because you guys, I want you to take your time at home. Each time you color it and you complete it, so, so, good. Down below, it says fill in the missing letters. So what's the first letter in the word so that's missing? S. So I'm gonna write it in. And look, are my letters the same size? No, my S looks like an uppercase letter. 
So I really need to make sure that I'm not just being lazy. I need to make sure my letters are the same size. So, so over here, I'm gonna pay more attention and I'm gonna really make sure that my letters are the same size. So, so, I told you it's a, used a lot. Okay, so what is the next letter that comes after the S? The O. And I'm really going to try to make sure that it's the same size. How did I do? Good. Okay, down here it says, read the sentence and underline the sight word. So go ahead and put your finger on the first word and we'll read it together. Finger on the first word and I want you to touch each word as we say it. I had so much fun at the park, exclamation mark. Let's read it again. What, do, what does an exclamation mark mean? It means we're using a lot of emotion with excitement, right? So did that sound very exciting? No. Let's try to read it again with a little bit more excitement. When we're learning the words and we're learning how to read, it's hard to put that excitement in there. So the more you read it, the more you know the words, the more you can add that punctuation in, in the way that you read, okay? I had so much fun at the park. How is that? A little bit better, didn't sound so boring, but it did it sound like I had a lot of excitement in my reading? Maybe not, maybe I could do better. How did you do? Let's read it again. Finger on the first word. Last time, I had so much fun at the park. How was that? It was a little bit better. How did you do? Did you sound excited? Now we need to underline our word. So, uh, so I'm going to do that. So, so, so. I'm probably gonna say that a million times today. Okay, and down below it says, cut out the letters below to make the sight word. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So you need your scissors and so you need your scissors and the glue. And you can pause the video if you need to, to get your supplies. These are small letters. So you need to make sure that you are cutting on the dotted lines and putting them in the right order. Just because they put them in a certain order doesn't mean that it's correct. So please make sure that you're putting your O and your S in the right order. Which letter should go first? The S. So I'm, so I'm going to do that. I don't think there has ever been a word that we know that I said so many times. So many times. Okay, there we go. And that's how we do this page. Take your time, you work at your own pace, and this is what we need to do. So, I hope you guys had a good time.